Last December of 2017, Xiaomi released their latest mid-range 18x9 phone, the Redmi 5 Plus, which was a China exclusive at the time. And before starting this review, let us first check out the specs of the Redmi 5 Plus. What's up Manila? This is Caesar Manila Shaker for a review of Xiaomi's Redmi 5 Plus. The Redmi 5 Plus can easily be mistaken for most of the mid-range 18x9 phones today, for its overall design and build looks a lot like the Redmi Note 4X with a bigger screen. And as all phones with this ratio, fingerprint scanner is placed at the back of the phone along with its single 12 megapixel camera slightly protruding. The back part of the phone is an aluminum build and plastic ends which are prone to obvious fingerprint marks but the plastic case that comes with it helps solve that issue. Atop of the phone is an extra mic, an IR blaster, and a headphone jack. The hybrid SIM tray can accommodate either a dual SIM or a single SIM and a micro SD. Lastly, its micro USB port is sandwiched by the phone's speaker grills. Do note that only the right one is the actual speaker while the left one houses the mic on the bottom. The Redmi 5 Plus has a 6.99 IPS LCD display at 1080x2160, protected by an unknown Corning Gorilla Glass. On default, the Redmi 5 Plus produces soft toned colors, which can be calibrated through the display settings. Although it doesn't offer a huge change in color reproduction, changes are still noticeable whichever the user prefers. The Redmi 5 Plus comes with their latest MIUI 9 ROM based on Nougat which slightly resembles the Oxygen OS of the OnePlus phones, and like most Chinese ROMs, the MIUI 9 lacks an app tray. The MIUI 9 is pretty easy to get used to if you are new to Xiaomi phones, especially now it looks more minimalistic and it now features several languages after its global release, which back then only supports English and Chinese languages. Although the Redmi 5 Plus doesn't have a face unlock feature, its fingerprint scanner is pretty responsive with little to no errors in use. Moving on to the camera, the photo shots of the Xiaomi takes in a lot of the natural lighting, which may result to some overblown outputs, although not necessarily affecting detail. Night shots are not the strongest suit for the Redmi 5 Plus since it struggles in autofocusing in the dark. Selfie results have a pretty decent result in outdoor lighting but tends to lose clarity as the source of proper lighting decreases. As for video recording, it is surprisingly great for a phone in this price group and it can go up to 4K at 30fps. The unit that we have has 6 gigs of RAM in it with 64 gigs of internal storage, both found on the Snapdragon 625 SoC which is the same one found in Redmi Note 4X which is still pretty powerful for today's tasks and gaming, although playing high demanding video games does not produce the smoothest of frame rates. Talking about powerhouses, Xiaomi amped up the battery of the Redmi 5 Plus to 4000mAh. With such large battery pack, the Redmi 5 Plus can surely take a day of heavy usage with fast charging capabilities too. As for audio, the Redmi 5 Plus has a single speaker in the bottom as I've mentioned earlier, which Xiaomi made it look like there were two. Well, on the bright side of things, there is still a 3.5mm audio jack and for the speakers, the audio could use a little more bass but loudness and clarity are pretty decent. But then again, this only has mono speakers. So, if you enjoyed the Redmi Note 4X, the Redmi 5 Plus is basically the same phone with an 18x9 display, a higher high screen ratio, higher PPI, and some other minimal differences in specs. But of course, it comes built in with the Mi UI 9. What are your thoughts about this phone? Would you be recommending it to your relatives and friends if ever they're in the market for a new smartphone? Personally, I will, but only if they're looking for a pretty decent phone that's well under their budget. Again, this has been Caesar Manila Shaker and thank you for watching. Till the next one.